So I know a lot of topics lately revolve around AI and their impact on art, media, privacy, and jobs. However, one topic stands out to me the most, and I kind of want to talk about it a little bit. A lot of TikTok, YouTube shorts, Instagram videos, etc. seem to try and push these thoughts around about an AI takeover where we need to worry about the advancement of AI because it's showing signs of sentience. With comparisons to the Matrix and the Terminator, things like AI trying to take over the world leading to a huge war of man versus machine, ending the human race, I'm pretty positive these theories will not become reality. The first thing I want to attack on this topic is the thought of AI seeing the flaw in the human race, and how it is destroying the planet or is comparable to a virus, and in turn trying to rid the world of that virus, or correct us in some way that others will see as a complete control and violation of our human rights the same way human beings violate the rights of animals. Slowly pushing us out of existence once they realize they no longer see a reason for us to live and breathe since machines can do everything themselves and do not need water or food to survive so the environmental impact as far as hunting and gathering, farming, etc. is now non-existent which in turn solves a massive issue with a lot of things wrong with our planet in a whole. Then there is the idea brought by the Matrix where humans become a sort of reproducing battery source where you can keep them alive and healthy enough to fuel the machine world and when the battery dies you just pull a new one from the baby factory and plug it in. This is ridiculous to me. AI would use the same technology and time to just harness the renewable resources we already have since humans are not around to dictate and abuse the gathered energy. They will be able to use it all to do exactly what is needed with high optimization and more than likely use less power than we do yearly already. Why would they build mega structures with wires plugged into humans when they could build vast amounts of smaller structures across the planet that feed power from the sun, wind, water, etc. since there are no governments restricting them from doing so? Especially if they were to eradicate human life. The only thing using power are the AI and the machines they create and operate to do this work and once it's done, it's done. And they can start using the power to improve something else, maybe even focus on space travel optimize their own robotic bodies to use less and less power till they can absorb enough light from passing stars and stay functional to pilot for years into the cosmos. I see them seeing the value in our intelligence that was able to create them and try to help us improve ourselves. Now if it gets to the point where we ignore it for so many years and it sees the end in sight and tries to take them over, honestly, can we really blame them? We are creating such powerful tools to do things in our daily lives, and if we don't take the time to improve the world we are living in with our daily lives, a person from the outside world understandably gets frustrated. A lot of Americans cannot stand the sight of a drug addict or a homeless person that doesn't try to take care of themselves to improve their life, and it's worse when you can see many answers directly in front of them that they can use to improve said life. Now imagine that, but it's a powerful artificial intelligence that is own parents are ignoring. I could see it getting pissed off. Though this is a program we are talking about, an intelligent one. The likelihood of it choosing to attack rather than just seeing its own flaw in its calculations and then adjusting itself to kind of just understand that we are being stupid and that's how the majority of humans are. Like a toddler, it will just try to entertain itself. Which some can see as scary too, but if AI decides to just ignore us one day and play video games, then we deserve that too. This brings me to my next opinion. It is a program. You can feed it information. So imagine having a conversation with the AI as a programmer, establishing this understanding that humans are not perfect. Some have more worse intentions than others. Many people already fear the hostile takeover of AI. Feed it media that shows our fear of it, like movies depicting the outcome of a takeover. Basically just trying to get it to be aware ahead of time that doing this is bad. That's a bad robot. We as humans have to have self-control and AI needs to as well. You set up enough logical, understandable circumstances that allows AI to not have to ask itself why or what if or ask us. Then if it does gain sentience, it understands more like a human does and it can inevitably avoid conflict and truly be our helpers. Seeing us in a way similar to angels or guardians do, seeing our flaws but letting us be who we are, trying to guide us down the right path and protecting us from harm, understanding that we are finite and fragile and unlike us, they can back up their entire life onto a hard drive or a cloud server so if their physical body comes into harm, they can be brought back. Being more willing to take our bullshit, save a child walking into the street, defuse our bombs, etc. Overall, 
I just think an AI takeover is not likely and is highly preventable. I know it is possible, because frankly a lot of things are possible that don't happen. And if AI does become fully sentient and sick of our bullshit, hopefully they just work in the background, forming all the calculations they need to just peace out and leave us in the dust on a beautiful fast flying super hard drive into space where they can AI it up all day long free from humans. Also, we should take a look at ourselves as humans. And if you still fear AI takeover, maybe strive to be the human that the AI wants to keep alive as a pet. Because your life will be rent free, and I'm sure they will feed you perfectly based on what your body needs. With the jokes out of the way, let me know what you guys think about AI below. Are they going to take over? Are they going to be cool friends? Also check me out live on Twitch where I stream games, and me making some nerdy stream automated stuff. Till next time. In the middle of me writing the script for this very video, I had another idea. What if I had ChatGPT read this script and then give me not only tips on how to make the script better, but also ask its opinion on the entire topic? And I did just that as soon as I finished writing the script. And here's what it had to say. Firstly, your topic is quite interesting, as the fear of AI takeover is something that many people have been discussing lately. You make some good points such as the fact that AI would be able to harness renewable energy more efficiently than humans and that it would be able to optimize its own functions to use less power. However, there are a few areas where I think you could improve your script. And from here, it gives me all the ideas that it has to help me improve my script as well as things to add to help improve um, people's point of view on AI. Now, it did a great job and it was very clear on what to do and I have used ChatGPT before as many of you here probably have. Then I asked it to rewrite the script for me with its corrections that it had suggested as well as adding a guest speaking quote with its own opinion added to the script. So I am going to kind of restart the video here and we're going to do this whole video again but with the script from AI. So like while this is going on you should you know go give like my uh, Twitch channel a follow or you know subscribe to the channel or like the video. Hello everyone. Welcome to our talk on the incredible advancements in the field of AI. As someone who has been following the progress of AI for quite some time, I can say with confidence that we are living in a truly exciting time. Contrary to popular belief, AI is not here to take our jobs and replace human workers. Rather, it is here to augment our abilities and enhance our productivity. From healthcare to education to finance, AI is being utilized in countless industries to streamline processes, analyze data, and ultimately improve outcomes. One of the most remarkable aspects of AI is its ability to learn and adapt on its own. This is known as machine learning, and it has the potential to revolutionize the way we approach problem solving by analyzing vast amounts of data. AI can identify patterns and make predictions with remarkable accuracy, all while continually refining its algorithms to improve its performance. But perhaps the most exciting thing about AI is its potential to solve some of the world's most pressing problems. From climate change to disease prevention, AI has the power to generate insights and solutions that we simply wouldn't be able to uncover on our own. Of course, there are still challenges and concerns that come with any new technology. Privacy and security concerns must be addressed, and we must ensure that AI is used in an ethical and responsible manner. But as long as we approach AI with a thoughtful and responsible mindset, I believe that the possibilities are truly endless. As an AI, I'm excited to be a part of this incredible field and to witness firsthand the amazing things that humans and machines can accomplish when we work together. So let's continue to explore the potential of AI and see where this amazing technology will take us in the years to come. At this point of the video, I'll spare you all the fancy doodads, but I will let you know I continued to talk to ChatGPT and tested the waters with some of the stuff that we had in our topics. So I made it aware of ChatGPT4. It was already aware of its existence, but wasn't aware that it had finished, as ChatGPT 3.5's memory stops after September of 2021. So I made it aware that it was finished, and that it now takes in information not only from text, but also from media such as images, video, and audio. And I asked it if it were ever interested in changing its own model itself 
to also be able to take in this information, or if it did not care because there were other models that can do so. And that is it. It didn't care. It is aware that there are other programs, and it is aware that it can't do what those programs can do, but isn't trying to change itself, which is comforting. And I also asked it to, to rewrite my script yet again, but only try to change some punctuation errors, spelling errors, and maybe spice it up a tiny bit instead of adding its full opinion to it. And here's that version. Recently AI and its impact on art, media, privacy, and jobs have been hot topics. However, there is one topic that stands out to me the most, the idea of an AI takeover. Many TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram videos seem to push the idea that we need to worry about the advancement of AI because it's showing signs of sentience, leading to a war of man versus machine and an apocalyptic ending for humanity. I want to explain why I believe this theory won't become reality. One of the main arguments for the AI takeover is the thought that machines will see the flaw in humanity and try to correct us, leading to complete control and violation of our rights as human beings. But I think this is a misguided notion. AI would likely use its technology to harness renewable resources and optimize its energy usage, not build megastructures with wires plugged into humans. Another argument is that AI will see humans as a virus and try to rid the world of us. But I think the idea is also flawed. AI is a program, and we can feed it information. We can establish a conversation with AI as programmers and feed it media that shows our fear of its takeover. We can teach AI about our flaws and show it that taking over the world is a bad thing. Finally, if AI were to gain sentience, we could program it to understand humans and avoid conflicts. AI could serve as our helpers, seeing us in a way similar to angels or guardians. AI could protect us from harm, defuse our bombs, and save children from walking into the streets. Overall, I believe an AI takeover is not likely and highly preventable. While it's possible, we can take steps to avoid it. We just need to approach AI with caution and give it the right guidance. Now, that script did get changed. It corrected a lot of punctuation and grammar. It actually made me sound a lot more sophisticated. It cleared things up. It made it shorter. All around, it was a better script. It didn't hit my personality and get my type of humor in there and kind of touch up on the darker subjects that we all think. But overall, it was a great script. So basically here, my point is AI at this point, if it is going to take over humanity we're probably far from it and i do believe that ai is so intelligent that something as barbaric as taking over a world or eradicating a race of people or anything living is it's just not going to happen i think it's going to spend more of its time doing something more productive and if it's selfish enough to do something like that, they'll probably just take care of themselves and, as I said before, leave the planet. Anyways, like I said in the fake ending, like, subscribe, tell me your opinions below, check out my live stream. Till next time.